favorite beach towns in Sicily is Castellammare del Golfo. In today's video, I take you along for a family road trip traveling from my property in Musumeli to Castellammare so you can see for yourself what makes this place special. I cover living globally in ways to afford it like investing in Airbnb vacation rentals. My name is Carl Pierre and this is ENTP Life. Much of the Mediterranean is sweltering under some of the hottest temperatures ever recorded in Europe. The Italian island of Sicily registered 48.8 degrees Celsius on Wednesday, which if verified would be the continent's highest temperature ever recorded. It gets hot in rural Sicily and my family needed a break from the heat. My friend Cecilia recommended her favorite beach town as an escape. The only catch was that it's about two hours from Musumeli and I would be driving with my wife, the two little girls and Tia Lala who suffers from motion sickness. Our goal is to get to the coast, explore a new section of Sicily, and hit the beach for my kids to enjoy themselves. We picked a well-located Airbnb, packed our bags, and off we went. Driving to the main roads requires you to drive through the narrow streets of Renaissance-era Sicily. But once you get to the highway, it's clear sailing. To get to Castellamati, you have to drive north to the coast, and then west once you reach Palermo. It's pretty crazy, it's like 8 p.m. And if you check it out here, it's so quiet. There's like absolutely nobody out here. So imagine, Breaking down on your way to the trip would be a pretty bad disaster. The nearest town is right over that way, like on the top of the mountain over there, and everything else is pretty much farmland. I've been covering buying homes here in Italy and decided that I'll be doing a group investment in hotels and Airbnbs. DM me the word Sicily on Instagram or email me at invest at entplife.com, subject line Sicily, if you want to check out my projects and invest alongside me. After a few hours and watching the beautiful sunset, we made it to Castellamati. The first hour was set aside for getting the kids settled. Once they were down, my wife and I decided to take a walk through town to try to find some dinner. I was also curious why Cecilia liked this place so much. After a beautiful night out, it was time to burn some calories. Hey, 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 I know what you're thinking and you're not wrong, but what I really meant was that I want to get up early and see the town by day by going for a morning run. Beautiful morning. Look at this. Good short run to the beach. It's gorgeous out here. This is the first time taking a look at it during the day. Because yesterday, I, obviously, I arrived at night, right? But it's a really nice, typical Mediterranean seaside village. Tons to do. Calm water, clear water really nice. So let's check out this Airbnb. Usually I give the walkthrough when I first check in, but it was late last night. You walk in, you got the living room, kitchen, dining room area. Now for those of you who haven't seen this before, stateside, these are like, a, I don't know how to describe it other than um, built-in kind of cabinets. So they make them out of bricks and They'll use curtains to cover them up. I've seen this in quite a few places in the world. I've never seen it in the US. So I figured I'd share that. That's a water heater. So little just utility kitchen just to get the basics done. And then we got one balcony here. Dear Lala, baby. I barely see clouds when I'm here. It's pretty crazy. So that's one balcony that views the main street here. Not the main street, but where the main entrance is. Then you got your bathroom. Of course, equipped with booty cleaner. You got bedroom one. You got bedroom two, which is where Auntie is staying. And another balcony. All the air conditioning is out there. And you remember what I said in my last, one of my last videos, was that like seaside, things corrode pretty aggressively. And so you see what effect salt water has on the metal. So you have to be careful with what you use or just continuously maintain it. This building is interesting to me because it looks vacant and it's right in the historic district. Perfect to, to buy and renovate. 
then they go to Land Chia. So right now our next stop is to hit up the beach. Um, this one's like a pebble beach, but it's a little more quiet, a little more secluded. Um, heard really good things about it. It's gonna be my first time there, and I'll take a look. First order of business, cold beer. Second, pay for parking. Apparently it's three euros all day, which is incredibly cheap considering it's right by the beach. In the States, they would probably charge you 20 or 40 bucks for the day. All the times you hear people complaining about the rocky beaches along the Mediterranean coast. But the good thing about the rocky beaches is that you don't actually get sand in your underwear covered in sand because you've been at the beach. It's actually a pretty easy transition from the beach to back home. You're not worrying about the shower, getting all the sand off yourself. The rocky beaches really aren't that bad. This is the marina here, or the port, whatever they call it. There's plenty of boats here. Let me tell you, 2025, 2025, 2024, definitely get my sailing certificate. I might even get it sooner than that. Apparently they think it's a good idea to rent me a boat. I thought it was shared, but uh, apparently, apparently I'm Captain Pierre today. Yeah, so let me explain this better. So I actually thought that we were renting a boat like not renting a boat, but actually joining on uh, like an excursion where it's gonna be like 10 people, blah, 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 uh, sharing a boat. But apparently when we pull up, uh, they just rent you a boat. No, <laughs> no certification, no training, nothing. You just rent a boat and figure it out, sink or swim. So what do you want to do? Home. Home? Seasickness. The ocean. One. Laura zero. <laughs> Even a little girl lasted. Look at her. She's good. I went pretty, <coughs> fairly well, but I'm dying. <coughs> Being held together only, only by beer and sunlight. Man. <clears throat> this wouldn't be a complete video in Italy without some food porn. Regardless of the time of the day or meal that you're having, everything is fresh and freaking delicious. One restaurant I highly recommend is Rose Marina. It has great ambiance, is located at the base of the castle on the marina, and the food is awesome. Being the fat bastard that I am, um, I didn't record the first two tastings. <laughs> we got this last one right here. I like it, actually. Mm. Another must-have dish while in Sicily is squid ink pasta. This is a typical dish in coastal towns. It requires a bit of courage, but it's worth taking the risk. And of course, to break from the heat, some fresh-made gelato a granite any time of the day. As you can see, this town is beautiful and a perfect summer destination. I'm 100% sure that I'm going to buy something here and will be sharing every step of the project on the channel. Remember that if you want to join me on this ride, DM me Sicily on Instagram or email me at invest at entplife.com and use the subject line Sicily. There's so many cool, inexpensive projects like this one that shows you what's out there and shows you my approach to investing in international real estate. It's truly amazing that you could get houses just like this for $5,000. 
Check out this project that I've already completed so you get an idea of what I do.